Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have a special guest tonight. Who are you? Your husband. <laughs> he also goes by Darren on normal days and my name is Veronica. Tonight we are going to, or today, depending on when you're watching this, we're going to be reviewing Keys, 15 fragrances from Keys. And Keys is an indie perfumer. I'll insert some information about this house in the description box. I got turned on to this house from Chris at the Perfume Nest, and I will link her below as well. And you'll see in honor of Chris that I have up here on my mantle, like she does in her videos, three of the fragrances that I actually purchased from the house. And then we have a bunch of samples that we would like to go through for all of you, 15 in total. Are you ready? Ready. All right, do we start with the bottles or the samples? Bottles. Okay. So the first fragrance is going to be the one that Chris mentioned in her coconut video, which is Coco, how do you say that? Coco. Coco a la vanilla. Coco a la vanilla. And she mentioned that this smells like a coconut custard. So let's spray. Ooh, it does smell good. Yummy. That's you. <laughs> <laughs> you can it smell better in the bottle. Oh. <laughs> A little overpowering on the I smell some chocolate yeah me too on the strip here it make a good ice cream yes I don't know if it makes a good perfume smell it here it definitely does not make a good perfume <laughs> oh my goodness okay so you don't you don't love this I do not like it okay I do get chocolate out of it. I do get coconut. It does smell very gourmand. What I mean by that is it smells edible. Do you think it smells <laughs> edible? I guess that's a no. Okay, a no from him and a thumbs up from me on this one. Yep. Now, okay, the next one that we're gonna try, I'm gonna let you pronounce it. Uh, Mendolo Chocolato. <laughs> Which means what? Chocolate almond, right? Chocolate almond, okay. What do you think? Oh man, it smells like a martini, the, uh, the little biscotti, the little cookies. Yes. Oh my God, that smells good. I agree, it smells just like an <laughs> almond. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it smells just like an almond biscotti, but does it smell like any kind of liqueur to you? Well, yeah, amaretta. Oh. <laughs> so does this one get a thumbs up? Well, it smells good, but I want to eat it. I don't know if I want you wearing it. Okay, this might be but a problem for the whole house. The whole house has gourmand fragrances, so. Uh, do you like it, but you wouldn't want me to wear it? I don't know. Okay. You would have to wear it, and then I would have to see what does it do to my brain, because it does smell good. Okay. From a from an eating standpoint. <laughs> okay. Next is? Frangipane e pistachio. What he said. Oh, al pistachio. Damn it. <laughs> okay. Let's do it again. Take two. <laughs> Frangipane al pistachio. All right. <laughs> do you remember this one when we first opened the package? I remember the all of them. I don't remember this specific one. While he's figuring out what he thinks, let me say this about these fragrances. I have had them for, it's been over a month, hasn't mm -hmm. it? It's been a while. It's probably been almost two months, if mm -hmm. I'm not mistaken. And I bring that up to say that sometimes people say these smaller houses mix the fragrance right when you order it. So you get a fresh fragrance that needs to rest and macerate for a while. I bring that up to say that these have had at least six to eight weeks or something like that. And so they need a rest and what? Macerate. Thought she said something else. Get your mind <laughs> out of the gutter. I'm not. I mean, it's, I, it smells like pistachio. Yeah. But I'm. It, I don't know. A little it smells like food flavoring. Yeah. I don't know if I want it to be on you. I didn't like this one either. This was one that when we first sprayed it, it smells great, like right in the first ten seconds. But as it calms oh, yeah. down, there's something a little bit weird and artificial about it. Yeah. Like a fake almondy kind of smell. 
a fake pistachio kind of smell. Yeah, a it's fake it, nutty it's apart. honestly it's too close to the uh, uh, the mando mando chocolate. Now we're gonna get into the samples. We're gonna start with. I can't <laughs> read it. My side's getting bad. <laughs> Jasmine, Jasmine macarons. 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 No. 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 There's a there's a hint of jasmine, which is nice. And a hint of something abhorrent. <laughs> Who tests these things? Yikes. I do get the jasmine in it. Does yeah. it smell to you like butter? Like buttered popcorn almost. No. Or butter sauce with flowers in it. I don't it. know. And who wants to smell like buttered it's, sauce with flowers in it? It's just a big fail. Like they're not even trying. I don't hate this. I don't know that I would want to purchase this, but I don't hate it. It's If you like jasmine and you like... <laughs> You, you want, like butter? You want to smell like creamy jasmine? You want to smell bad. You smell like buttery jasmine? You want to get this. <laughs> you all want to, almost want to smell good, but just not quite. This is the scent. Okay. <laughs> Next is... Okay, I'm going to need help here. Crema de la lima, lima. cognac. <laughs> I literally can't see anything on this. Crema de whatever. Ooh. Ooh, it's ripped. <laughs> We have a tester malfunction. Okay. It smells like a lime flavored. What's it called? Chum chum? The chuppa chup? Chuppa chup. What? A lime flavored chuppa chup. What is a chuppa chup? The, the lollipop. Hold on. If you, okay. The lollipop. Say, if you know what a chuppa chup dum. is. A dum. Isn't it called dum dum? The small ones that you get the Is it a chuppa chup or no, a dum dum? Both. Both. You get a chup, the chuppa <laughs> chup or the upper scale ones. The dum dums are you get for free at the bank. I can't even deal. And this is a lime flavored dum dum. This smells to me exactly like Virgin Island water from Creed. And if you want a less expensive version, get the Hawaii Volcano from Alexandria Fragrances. It does smell like a lime lollipop. You're right. Yeah. A chum chum dum dum. <laughs> chup a chup. Chup a chup. Woo! And next up is... Pr Praline. Oh, caramel. <laughs> okay, praline. That, that better smell good. It sounds like it smells amazing. It smells good. A little woodsy, actually. Mm-hmm. It does smell woody. Or woodsy. Yeah. So I get chocolate out of I that. Chocolate. chocolate and like pine or something. Oak. Or cedar. Oak. Oak. <laughs> Some kind of wood. Do you like it? I like it. I would think I like you it. should smell like this. Yeah, minus the chocolate. I don't want to smell like chocolate. So it's supposed to be caramel. I don't get that. Do you get any praline? No, I get the chocolate and some wood. This is nice though. It's not bad. See, it's drying down and it's smelling even better, I think. Yeah. It's really nice. This will make an awesome candle. Gardenia sacre. Sacre. Sucre? Sucre? Sacre. Is that like a sugared gardenia? Is that what that means? Yeah. I'm sure someone will let us know in the comments. Of course. <laughs> it's unpleasant. <laughs> it's I don't like... smell much. I smell a very, very faint gardenia note, but not like my favorite gardenia kind of note. Not like the like, romantic, like the, sultry, pretty gardenia. Like your least favorite gardenia smell. <laughs> Picture that. Add some sugar water. Kind of boring, huh? Yeah, and it's like overly sweet with being almost... Oh, you think it's sweet? Uh, yeah, but but also weak too. Okay, so that one gets a thumbs down from both of us. I can't, I can't see. <laughs> I can't see, Sorry. I think it says Vani Deboche, 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 Deboche. Bosca. 
Debauch? Debauch? I don't know. I can't read it. See, I, it looks like debauchery, like drunk vanilla, but I, I don't think that's what that means. And we're being too lazy to look stuff up, so we're just having to look fun. This would make a nice candle. That's nice. Ooh. That's nice. I bad. like that. What does that smell like? <laughs> Something to bosk. <laughs> That's what it smells like. Oh my god. Does it smell like bubblegum to you? Yes. 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 Just like bubblegum. Like bazooka bubblegum. Yes. Like exactly. the powder in the bubblegum yes. wrapper. That's exactly what it it's is. It's nice. But in a nice way. Yeah, it's pleasant. I like that. I would consider purchasing that. I I'm just, ugh. cacao. I can't see what this is some these are the hardest labels. Look. See how tiny the font is? And then you got all these this stuff going on. What is that? And I'm officially getting old Rosette? and I can't read. Hoisette? Cacao? Cacao something. Hoisette? Is that an H? It looks like an H. Hoisette? Hoisette? Cacao? Cacao Hoisette? Ooh. Uh oh, you think that's a no? Oh, <laughs> it smells like chocolate buttered popcorn. Yeah, like you you get the first second you get chocolate and you're like, hey, this is great, and then it's followed by this overwhelming, nauseating, buttered popcorn. overpowering, yes, like theater buttered popcorn In where your they face. douse it with the liquid butter that's not a good combination i okay it all does it smell like a tootsie roll if you heated it up and <laughs> like through the fumes in your nose yes because it's super powerful I, it's the opposite of the gardenia where you can barely smell this thing you can smell a mile away would you like this in a candle or not at all i, I would you want not this want out this, of your life i, I want this gone not in our house <laughs> I oddly might like it as like a lotion or a candle. I would. I don't want to smell like this no, though. It's not. It's too much of that buttered popcorn with melted Tootsie Roll on top. Ugh. Coco. Tiara. Coco. Coco Tiara. Or T R E. That's not bad. But not good. <laughs> I can't stand him sometimes. <laughs> <sighs> Such a bad. Just, I'm kidding. I love him to death. Do you like this? I don't. I don't. This. I'm sorry. I think. This smells like some very familiar Victoria's Secret lotion from like 1996 or something. It reminds me a little of a lotion that was called Pear Glaze or Glaze or something like that. Mixed with some tiara flower and a hint of coconut. I kind of like this. I would like, I would like this as a, a fragrance. Oh, it's calmed down a little bit, but there's still something in there that I don't like. There's like three things, two are good and one's just <laughs> wrong. Do you get any plastic in this? The power of suggestion. No. Something. Does it smell like tires? No. I don't know what it is. Does it smell like leather? Let's try again. <laughs> For, you the, smell for the 50th time, here. I'd like to know from the men who, the three guys that are watching this, how many times do you have to say I don't know before they believe you? The answer is, I don't know how many times say to say I don't know, and I, I don't know how to say I don't know <laughs> any other ways. That's what we should do in the comment section. Guys, comment, <laughs> how do you say I don't know in another way? Because I would like to have some things in my my arsenal of I don't know. How do you say it in Italian? I don't want to smell that anymore. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's gone from not so bad to bad. I smell leather. I struggle. Can you do it one more time? Please. I apologize. I've struggled with this whole line because food <laughs> and my wife, I mean, I'm sure a lot of people are into that. <sighs> I'm not. <laughs> so. I don't want. Said, I don't want my wife it. smelling like a biscotti. I'm sorry. I just. I just. You said I, into that like it's a fetish. <laughs> it is. It is. People. 
together. No. Bon, bon, bon au lait. Or lat, if you're <laughs> French. Oh, lat. <laughs> oh, lat. As they would say here in the South. Bon bons au lait. I'm just kidding. I'm from Louisiana. I know how to pronounce it. <laughs> and I also know how to smell. And, and you don't like it. Shocker. Fail. Oh, that does smell rancid. Oh. I don't like that. It's weak and rancid. Yes, it's spoiled milk. <laughs> <laughs> they got it. They got it right. It does smell ice creamy. If you left it out in the sun <laughs> and it started to spoil. Because that's the undertone is spoiled milk. Oh my gosh. Tell I apologize to Tell Keith's me I'm perfumery. Wrong. Sorry. Y'all, no, they should apologize. Y'all could do better. Miss your job. Okay. <laughs> Fiki. Fiki apana. Figs and apana. Cream, right? It's apana bread? No. Cream. No, because it's got Cream two. and figs? Creamy figs. Creamy figs. Figgy cream. Figgy pudding. I can't smell it. I thought we it's tried very, it and we liked light. it. It's very, very light. It actually smells like soap. Yeah. I get a clean, like, shampoo-y, soapy scent. This reminds me a lot of, I'm going to not pronounce this correctly, fig and a uh, figs and agrume agrumes from Lancome. I kind of like that. I don't know if I would want like a full bottle of that. But it's a pleasant fragrance. It's a yeah. nice clean fig and like shampoo. It's very pleasant. Kind of fragrance. Very very pleasant just it's just a little weak. Yes, it is very weak. weak. That's that's the only negative, but other than that it's probably the best of the bunch. What is that? <laughs> Something, the carnival. Gato, is that a Gato? G? Gato. Gato, cat. Is that the cat of the carnival? The carnival cat? Do we want to smell like a carnival cat? I smell more paper than anything. It's very faint. <clears throat> it's a very faint cake, vanilla cake smell. Very, very faint. Nothing for you? <laughs> I, I think, I think, yeah, something like that. It's important to note for the audience that, like, for you, right, something has to smell pretty strong for you to pick up the scent. So that's something to note for those of you that are the same way, where your sense of smell maybe is a little bit dull. Um, keep that in mind as you're thinking about these reviews. So we're going to pause. We're going to look at the ones behind us, and we're going to pick our top and our bottom fragrances from this set. So this review didn't quite go as we might have expected. Would you agree? I agree. <laughs> so Darren is not a fan of this house of fragrances. I, um, as a bottom one... And maybe the whole theory of gourmand. That might, that might be it, that I, you just I, don't I, like I, yeah. very sweet fragrances. Although if I'm being honest with you, I don't think that a lot of these are really executed well. There were more... And we'd like to be more positive. Yeah. I really so do, especially for a house a that's small like this. Okay. We want you to do well. Yeah, we want the smaller houses to do well. So. But we have to be honest. Yeah, I'm did not, not, not We did not lie. like these. So um, my bottom fragrance is one that I was really hoping was going to be awesome. And it's the Frangipani al pistachio. I'm saying that like I have an Italian accent. Is that how you say yeah. it? Frangipani al pistachio. Al pistachio. Um, this opens really nice, but it dries down to something funky, sour, and weird on my skin, just like chemically, like a chemical mess. So I would not want to wear this, and I'll probably be selling this off. My favorite, though, what was your favorite? Let's start with you. Uh, my favorite was the Mandolo uh, uh, Chocolato. It does smell exactly like the Emirate, the Emirati, the, the little biscotti. Mm -hmm. um, quite nice. Nailed the, the smell. Again, I don't know if I want her to smell like it, but if I had to say, you know, what smelled the best by far, it was it was this. And then my, fra my, favorite, my favorite is uh, Praline uh, au Caramel. It smells more, like I said, like chocolate and a soft butter or soft popcorn um, than it does anything like Pralines or Caramel, but I like it a lot. 
that's our review of 13 fragrances of Keys perfumes. Any final parting words? <laughs> no pressure. Uh, smell good, people. Here's what I will say about these fragrances is they're very inexpensive. They're very affordable. So like this was under 30 bucks, if I'm not mistaken. So it was the Coco a la Vaniglia. And I think this size was even less expensive, like in the $20 range. So if you like gourmands, don't let our review scare you. Go ahead and order some samples. The samples were like a dollar or two dollars each. Um, and it's a great way to try a new house and show some love to a smaller perfumer. That's our video for today.